Hello everybody. In this video, I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now, my portfolio is worth $107,449.87. In the past year, I am up $32,651.21. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $16,500.77. Today was a very green day for me. During the day, I was up $2,921.48. After hours, I am up another $53. So about $3,000 up today. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I am selling Robinhood $18 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, I am down $2,000. $30. I'm selling Starbucks $80 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $808. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $306. I'm selling Amazon $210 covered calls. These expire July 26. My total return $252. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expire July 26. My total return $78. I'm selling Disney $110 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return, $195. I'm selling Google, $210 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, $284. I have McDonald's, $210, $200 with credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, $430. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $192.95. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $28,204.18. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.73. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $12,640.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $98.43. My average cost, $60. My total return, $11,000. $529. I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $24.95. My average cost, $17.53. My total return, $7,435. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $183.65. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $4,117. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $61.78. My average cost, $57.70. My total return, $814. I have 200 shares of Starbucks. Starbucks is at $75.35. My average cost, $78.15. My total return, $559.50. This is a margin account. My margin total is $106,091.33. My margin used is $88,572.59. My options collateral is 
This leaves me with $7,518.74 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $46,581.26. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest that I am paying is $15.84. And I am borrowing $1,000 interest free. So huge green day for me, as you can see about $3,000 up today. Very good daily gain. Now, I am still a little bit behind the S&P 500 returns. So year to date, 18.17%. So 18.17% for my portfolio. Let's look at SPY. So year to date for SPY, 19.53. So about 1% apart. I'm about 1% behind the S&P 500 returns for this year so far, year to date returns. But who knows, maybe I can actually catch up or even surpass the returns of the S&P 500 this year. We'll see. But things have been going really good so far in the past month. As you can see, in the past month, I am up $11,440.36. That's 11.92% in the past month alone. So very huge green month for me. I'm very happy about it. Made over $11,000 in the past month alone. I mean, wow. Um, for a while there, it seemed like it was a very bumpy ride, you know, going up and down all the time. And I've said this before in my previous portfolio updates as well. You know, it's, it's just been going up, down, up, down, just going up and down all the time. And for a while, I was juggling between, uh, you know, my portfolio value being above $100,000. And then it would go back below to like 90 something, you know, below $100,000. Then it would go back up again. But I think now, I don't want to jinx it, but I think now I'm finally at the point where it's above $100,000 in my portfolio and it's actually staying there. Hopefully it's not going to crash back down to like 90 something dollars, uh, sorry, 90 something thousand dollars again, but who knows? Hopefully it stays above 100K. Now, the things that are expiring on Friday. Let's talk about my hood covered calls. Robinhood, $18. Right now, Robinhood is well above $18. It's at $24.94, so about $25. So now these covered calls are deep in the money. So most likely, they're just going to get called away, my shares of Robinhood, which I'm fine with. I'm okay with them leaving my portfolio. Um, I'll just decide what to do with that money once it's freed up, but I'm okay with that. Now, Starbucks, this is an interesting one. I chose a strike price of $80. Right now, Starbucks is at $75.35. However, if we look at the past month, it was above $80 and then it went all the way down to like the low 70s. Now it's making a slow recovering up into the mid 70s. Who knows if it's going to continue and reach $80 per share by the end of this week. Anything is possible. I think it could go either way. With how things have been going, I mean, today, for example, it went up $2.76 just today alone. And it's the 16th, so we got three more days to go. It could happen. It could happen. But we'll see. For now, it's still below my strike price of 80. It's at 75, so it could go either way. SoFi, this is also something that surprised me recently. If we look at SoFi, for my covered calls on SoFi, I chose a strike price of $8. And right now, SoFi is at $7.73 getting very, very close to $8. I mean, in the past month, look at this. Wow. It was sitting at like $6.48, $6.30, $6.30, $6.23. So it was hovering around like the mid to low $6 range. But now all of a sudden it shot up like almost $8 even. So yeah. Who knows? I mean, today's the 16th, three more days. 
if it goes up by oh man see today it went up 42 cents just today if the, if we have a repeat of the same thing tomorrow and it goes up 42 cents again it's already gonna be above eight dollars per share i don't know we'll see what happens um this is something else that could go either way and i wasn't expecting it but a lot of stocks have been just jumping up out of nowhere i mean wow all right, so those are the three positions that are expiring on the 19th this Friday. And before I thought that, okay, you know, Starbucks is going to stay below 80. SoFi is going to stay below eight. But now I don't know. I really don't know at this point. It, they could end up above their strike prices on the 19th. I wasn't expecting this before, but now I'm thinking it could happen. But I'll keep on making more portfolio updates. I'll let you guys know. Nothing's really changed in my portfolio. I didn't change any positions. They're still the same. I'm just waiting for time to pass and for these three positions to expire this Friday. All right. If you guys like this type of content, you guys want to see more portfolio updates, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll keep on making more of this content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.